ever think there will be a resolution. I wouldn't hold my breath. It makes the haunted mansion look good. And now an abandoned mausoleum in Cranston has been defaced again. You'll remember that years ago, city and state leaders said that they were searching for solutions. Well, tonight, NBC10 iTeam reporter Tamara Sikarsik takes a fresh look at that old problem. For a while, these doors here were compromised. Branches breaking through windows. It's a shame. Shattered glass and graffiti. It's, it's an abomination. Beyond the brick walls of this decaying building lies 400 bodies trapped in their final resting place. The building is getting worse. We toured the Roger Williams Park mausoleum with funeral director Andrew Correa, who hasn't been here since 2021. You may remember this video posted to social media that year, showing desecrated tombs, stolen bronze markers, and open caskets inside. The outside of the building has been boarded up, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's working. Vandals have gotten on the roof, and these clean window breaks show people could also be climbing inside. Is enough being done? Not at all. I could get in there tonight if I wanted to. Cranston Mayor Ken Hopkins, who inherited the problem, met with state leaders in July of 2021 to come up with a permanent solution. Why hasn't any real progress been made since then? Well, the real progress has been to clean it up. Cranston cleaned up the outside of the building and boarded up the entrances. A cemetery in Tiverton then stepped in with a $500,000 offer to relocate the bodies inside. Hopkins met with state lawmakers to talk about that money, but nobody has taken action. Has anyone asked for that money? I don't know, but I don't know that. No, we haven't had a follow-up meeting with the, the state reps. Why hasn't there been a follow-up meeting? Uh, I'm not sure. We've done our responsibility as a city to keep the place clean and keep it secure. Uh, as far as seeking the funding, that would have to be at the state level. This is in your district. Do you feel responsible at all? I don't feel responsible. I, I feel um, that you bring these things to light to me, it makes me more anxious about looking to seek a solution for it. Cranston Rep I mean, Arthur like Handy did is, not attend that meeting with the mayor, but he's one of several lawmakers that admitted to us nobody has brought up the issue in the past two legislative sessions. Existing. We do need to make sure it's secure, um, completely secure from the exterior uh, in terms of people being able to get in. Do you plan on addressing the current issues? Absolutely. But an overall solution remains to be seen. A 2012 court ruling obtained by the I-Team determined neither the city nor the state are liable for the building that was abandoned so many years ago. The city is, is passing it off to the state. The state's passing it off to the city. Um, it, 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 it has gone on for so long, and at the end of the day, it's still ignored. Another concern is removing the bodies without permission from next of kin. Unless somebody gets injured inside of the building or it becomes a public health hazard, it'll likely remain as is. For the NBC Tonight team, I'm Tamara Sikarsik. Hi everyone, it's Mario Florio from NBC10. Thanks for checking out the NBC10 WJAR YouTube channel. Click the links on your screen for more stories from across Southern New England. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button below and get notified anytime we post an update on YouTube. As always, thank you for turning to 10.